Okay, we'll start by going over how to load and fire the taser device. Uh, again, making, first thing I want to do always is make sure when you're handling the weapon that it is unloaded and that the safety is in the safe position. On the C2, that would be forward. And on the X26C, the safety will be down. Go ahead and face your target. And then when you load the cartridge, the main thing to keep in mind is not to get your fingers in front of the blast doors. Handle the weapon for, or the cartridge from the sides. Insert it in the end of the taser device, just like so. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when you fire the de device, you'll arm, flip up the safety, put the red dot right on the center of your target, pull the trigger, and let it cycle. All right, put your weapon on safe. Now, in the event that shot's ineffective and you need to reload, first thing you want to make sure is you put the safety on mm -hmm. and reach up, just dispose of that spent cartridge. Okay. Retrieve your spare cartridge. Again, keep it, make, keeping your eye on, on your adversary there and making sure to keep the safety on. Mm -hmm. Load it from the side. Reevaluate the scene. If you need to deploy again, go ahead and activate the weapon and fire. Now set your taser down and flee the area to safety. Very good. Another effective option when using your taser, after you've fired your probes, if you miss the target or if there's a second assailant approaching and you don't have an opportunity to reload, is the drive stun. You can drive stun a subject by aggressively pushing the front of the device into their body while it's still activated. The most effective target areas are the side of the neck, the pelvic triangle, or if somebody's holding on to you, the radial nerve on top of the arm will cause them to let go. Why don't we go ahead and fire on the target, and we'll do a drive stun follow-up. Drive right in the side of the neck. Very good.